Good evening, everyone. We are Paula Boggs Band out of Seattle, Washington. And we're about to serve up some Seattle brewed soul grass. Why we got these ponies, but why we got ponies. Paula Boggs' mix of bluegrass, folk, gospel, and jazz, the diversity of her many life experiences before starting a new career in her late 50s as a singer-songwriter. My life is not a straight line and often in my life journey things have come at me from left field and that has been the impetus for whatever came next. Some way baby is part of me, part from me. She learned to sing and play guitar in church choirs while growing up in Virginia and Europe but had to put her music ambitions on hold when she joined the army to pay for law school. That led to her first career in government as a White House staff attorney, a federal prosecutor, an advisor to four presidents. Thank you. After another major career change to corporate America, she eventually became Starbucks chief counsel. One of our most beloved leaders, Paula Boggs, uh, has uh, decided to retire. A family tragedy prompted her to leave Starbucks and the law at the height of her career to get back to her music as a way to grieve and to reset her priorities. It was a way to try to feel better about something very painful. Not long after my sister-in-law's death, I came to know about a one-year songwriting course offered by the University of Washington. And so for a year, while still Starbucks general counsel, I took this course and once a week for three hours, I was part of a community of songwriters. What's it like being at the top of one profession, in your case, the law, corporate law, to start at the bottom virtually with recording, touring, songwriting? It's humbling. It's really, really humbling. The good thing for me, though, is this is not the first time I've been thrown into something where I was a rookie. She started her band in Seattle, which included another lawyer, and had to learn how to arrange and self-record her music compositions with different variations of the band. The corporate jets and limos from her business career are long gone. She tours with the band now, mostly on the West Coast and mostly at small clubs. To middle-aged audiences, her band is cultivated through public radio stations airplay and music streaming channels. The bias in music is it's a young person's thing. So there is suspicion or doubt or whatever when someone like me is, you know, clawing to try to make, you know, a name for herself. The music I write, we make, isn't gonna be everybody's tea. What I own is for us to be the best at what we do. And whether the audience is one or two or many more than that. Some of her music addresses issues she thinks the country should be more concerned about, like racial disparities, especially for young black men. She believes the richness of her personal history and life experiences, which all songwriters ultimately rely on, can compensate for her late start in the business. Whoever receives your music, it becomes theirs. And whatever story, they want to build around this song, they can do that. And I don't know when I'll see you again. The inspiration for a new song and how that unfolds, all of those things are part of this experience. You've had such success in all your other careers. What are the metrics for success now as a singer-songwriter, starting out a little bit late in life? Oh, newsflash, I'll never be Beyonce, right? But 
there's also the measure of how are you doing compared with how you were doing last year. Their latest album is appropriately called Janice, named after the Greek god for beginnings and endings, which pretty much sums up Paula Bogg's very diverse professional career and her constant search for more meaning in her work. I'm not here to tell you I've figured it out. I'm here to tell you and share with you some of those milestones in my life that have led to what I hope is a more authentic life. Is the real Paula Boggs now standing on stage? Absolutely. In, in, in Technicolor. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. For next tracks, this is Mike Saray reporting.